Hey guys, the Mediocre Pirate here. Just got done watching Gabco's collection update video and thought I'd make one of my own. Got a couple new knives in the past couple months and uh, sold a, some others off. So, yeah. So, to start off, um, military, paramilitary, you guys have seen that. Um, Endura, full flat grind. The gray, thanks to my buddy Josh who gave me that. Spyderco Delica with a STR Backyard Blade Works custom low rider pocket clip that's titanium pretty sweet got this a couple months ago uh, given to me by my friend any man pretty sweet uh, really really rides well this one I got a couple weeks ago Spartaco fully serrated foliage delica I've wanted to try out a um, fully serrated uh, EDC blade for a while so g couldn't refuse it got a good price on it uh, Spartaco Carbon Fiber Stretch, Spartaco Sage One. I'm actually thinking of selling this. If you're interested, PM me. I've, I'll give you a good deal. Um, awesome EDC knife. I just don't really carry it that much anymore. Plus, I'm getting a very similar knife to replace it. So, if you guys are interested, let me know. I might even think of trades. Uh, let's see. Spartaco Cricket, given to me by my buddy Cosmo. Don't, doesn't see much pocket time, but awesome little knife. Next one up is my Spyderco Ladybug H1 Salt. A pretty sweet little knife. This one lives around my neck pretty much 24-7 uh, in this little Kydex sheath that I made a while back. Um, I've been carrying this for about four months straight now and it's still perfect. I really haven't oiled it. I haven't cleaned it. I haven't done anything to the blade. Still nice and sharp. Um, awesome little knife. It doesn't see all that much use, but it's nice to have a little backup knife around with me anytime, anywhere I go. So, pretty sweet. Spyderco Assist. Pretty much carry this every day at work. Nice knife. It's seen quite a bit of use. Uh, solid. Nice glass breaker. Leatherman Juice S2. Uh, pretty much lives in my... Uh, pretty much lives in my Maxpedition FR1. Awesome little multi-tool. Next one up is the Leatherman Wave. Pretty cool multi-tool. Yeah, I've got the pocket clip attachment for this. It snaps on and uh, you can just carry this normally. Pretty sweet. Awesome multi-tool. Not too big, not too small. Got It has everything you need. Could do with better blade steel though. Next one up is a gift from my buddy VW. Uh, Leatherman Surge. Nice multi-tool. This one generally stays in my car or... Um, in my the pocket of my bunker gear so I have a nice heavy duty tool this thing is just ridiculously beastly and um, could probably take anything I throw at it no problem next up is my favorite non Spyderco folder zero tolerance zero five five one awesome knife collaboration with Rick Hinder uh, traded this did a trade and got this from uh, Voodoo 6 Outdoors sweet knife it's got a little bit of up and down blade play so I need to send it in to have them look at it but really awesome knife I love how beefy and chunky it is it I really feel like you can take anything I can throw at it so next one up a gift from my buddy Gavco um, Kershaw Ram I was blanking on the name this is a blem gave this to me a while back and just love it is a Mark Goldsworthy Kiridashi Damascus steel pretty sweet given to me by my buddy Doc love this thing I absolutely love Kiridashis. Uh, made this sheath myself. Didn't do the best of work, but hey, it works. A uh, little Kershaw, little lockback from T Mons 1. Also from T Mons 1 is this Victorinox Alox Cadet. Absolutely love this thing. Uh, Johnson Adventure something rather from K Bar. Pretty cool little folding knife. Got this from Equipped Indoor in a contest. A bunch of Opinels. Uh, these are really what started my knife addiction. I've been carrying one of these ever since I was 8 or 10. And um, really, really love these things. Nice cheap knives, but super good quality. Gavco Wijidashi. Uh, first version made out of a little Widgy bar. Pretty sweet. I haven't carried this all that much. Actually, I'm going to carry this for the rest of the day. Um, version 2 of the Wijidashi from Gavco. I don't know if you guys can see, but I did a nice mirror polish job on that. Uh, bevel. Nice little tool. Thanks again, Gavco, for both of these. Spartaco Grasshopper made a little lanyard for that. La Guillaume Arbalète, a traditional French knife. 
Uh, pretty sweet. I just love the looks of these things. Nice and slim. Um, really nice gentleman's knives. It's got a really stiff lock back on it though. So, uh, A couple of Victorinox knives. Uh, Tinker Camper I think this is. And one that was given to me by the Lazy Spoiled Kitty. This one's pretty cool. Just a single blade. Uh, nice little knife just to drop in your pocket. Um, nice little sheath. Is one of my only fixed blades, uh, one of two rather. This is the Essie Azula given to me by some friends on the Spartaco forum a couple years a uh, year back. Got the uh, linen micarta handle scales, actually canvas micarta, sorry. And just awesome little knife. This one lives on my Wildland Fire Pack and uh, been really nice. And last but not least is my Martini Puko. I'm definitely mispronouncing that so sorry to all of you Scandinavians um, pretty sweet knife this was given to me by my good buddy Creepo on the Spyderco forums uh, awesome knife this is probably the most comfortable wooden handle I have ever felt on a knife it just fills my hands so well just overall that's my collection if you guys have any questions or comments let me know um, see you guys later